What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through all of Route 118 and 19, and quite possibly Route 121, 22, maybe 23. Yeah, well, Route 123, and I just heard a light noon cry. And, uh, well, we did quite a few things, and we finally reached our destination right here, the Weather Institute. Now, unfortunately, we can't go to Fortree just about right now because, well, Team Aqua is uh, in the loose yet again. Yeah, they're in the loose again. And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, yes, there was something else that I mentioned in the last episode that, you know, really got me thinking. It really did. And it's probably a good, it's probably good timing, too. I did say something about probably bringing back a Pokemon to this team right here that needs a little bit of a redemption story. Yeah. Now, the funny thing about that is that I was going to start this episode off by capturing said Pokemon, but then I realized that, oh shoot, I already captured this Pokemon off screen. Yeah. So it turns out that I did capture this Pokemon alongside his comrades uh, in the last Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, and well, let's go ahead and introduce him, and it's probably good, again, it's probably a good timing right here, so let's go straight into our PC and go straight into the move Pokemon section, and well, you guys have guessed it. We are gonna be picking up Raiden yet again, and this time we're gonna keep him on our team permanently. Now, the Pokemon that's gonna be replaced happens to be our good old buddy, Venom, right here. I believe Venom has done his job, and uh, well, we're gonna be seeing him pretty soon, maybe a little bit later or anything, because the next three walkthroughs, or the next three gyms, well, actually, Two of the three gyms that we're going to be facing require an Electric-type Pokemon. We do not have an Electric-type Pokemon, plus it needs Electric Power and all that crud. And, well, let's see, another thing too. Oh yes, we happen to get two very, very, very powerful Electric-type moves. You know, Thunderbolt, Shockwave, these two moves, it's nothing. You know, it actually will help us out when we go up against uh, some of these, uh, you know, gym leaders and all that stuff. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a rest because we did quite a quite a few things battling and all that stuff, yeah. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest entrant to the team, a level 12 Raiden. We have caught him over at the at Route 110 on our way to, what was it called? Uh, yes, on our way to Mauville City, as you guys can see. It does have the ability Lightning Rod, which draws the electrical moves. It actually powers it up. That's a pretty good uh, move right there, and as you guys can see, it does have some pretty good stats. You know, its HP is pretty cool, special attacks right there, and, you know, we need some speed. We really need some speed. I don't know what my whole thing is with Pokemon with no speed. Now, it doesn't have any Electric-type Pokemon or no Electric-type attacks yet. So, what's going to happen is... First things first, I am going to give it the experience share because, yeah, it needs to grow real quickly. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead and give it Shockwave for right now because this is a move that cannot miss. And, you know, it, it would actually serve Raiden just for right now. It's not like it's my only uh, shockwave attack. I mean, I could go get it over in Pokemon Sapphire or Ruby. So the move that we're gonna be picking up, or we're gonna be switching out, is Tackle Attack right here because it's not much of a physical attacker here. So there you go. And Raiden has learned Shockwave. Okay, alrighty, let's do this. Bring it on. And yes, the the, uh, the Weather Institute's being invaded by Team Aqua. You know, a, a gang of uh, Pokemon. Uh, E e e call it, e e call it, e e an ecology, or e ecological gang or something? I don't even know. So here we have Tiwanko Grunt coming out with her Carvana. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Can we defeat this Pokemon with Raiden? No, because it does have quite a big, uh, it does have a lot of speed. So well, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching it out with Dalsim right here. And, well, Dalsim, go right ahead. Take a, take a damage right here. Yeah, take damage, and yeah, we're not gonna be speeding. We're not going to be speeding up our battles right here because, well, it is a. Uh, this is a, a very important place right here, and well, we're gonna be going with a bulk up right now, and the attack has risen, 
And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a high jump kick. Here comes a crunch, a crunch attack. And thankfully, since we are a fighting type Pokemon, it won't affect the psychic portion. And just like that, high jump kick does its thing. There is a little bit of a drawback, and that is the rough skin. And, well, we get some more points right there. Team Aqua Grunge, yes, has lost. Yes, you have lost. Okay, so let's move on right here. And see what we can do with this guy. The boss got interested in the research that they have going here. So he uh, sent us out. You quit meddling. Mm, I would love to, but not really. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Taking on a Team Aqua member with the Zubat. I kind of want to risk it right here. Let's go with the Shockwave and see what happens. Here's a Bite Attack. That takes half our HP. And <laughs> just like that, we flinch. So, we can't do anything. Let's go with Hadouken. Bring it. Alrighty, Hadouken. That's right, you sound like a Hadouken. And, well, let's go straight for Dragon Claw right here. And, there we go. Zubat is, uh, well, it's still holding on right there for dear life, but let's finish this guy off with Dragon Claw, and bam. Yes, we win. And Raiden has grown to level 13. And, uh, well, let's see. Coming out with the Poochiana. Let's go right ahead and uh, switch battle right here with Raiden. Yes, I know exactly what I was thinking of. What I was doing. Now it's kind of like a spare of the moment kind of thing. But, yes, I always... Well, to be quite honest, guys. Yeah. I was looking for a Pokemon that knew or that would be able to learn in an Electric-type move. Now, I was thinking of probably good gravy, seriously, Pugina. I was thinking of using, uh, let's see, I was thinking of using Absol again because, yes, it is a very, very good Pokemon to have. But I realized that it's very, it's more, it's more physical than anything. The other thing, too, we do have, in, we do have a dark type Pokemon on our team, so that would be like, you know, a huge switch of, uh, Pokemon that we need. And, uh,. I don't know, I didn't want to mess that up, so I decided, you know what, there there aren't a lot of Electric-type Pokemon from Hoenn that I, I want to use. I don't want to use Minum or Plusum or Pl Plusel or anything like that, so I might as well go back to Raiden because it is a very, very good Pokemon to actually have. Plus, you know, going into Aqua, you know, Aqua Sapphire, yes, we can, you, you, we can use this Pokemon for what was it mega evolution it does and it does have some pretty cool moves right there too so there it is long story a very very long story but here we are taking on a double battle of team uh, aqua i am not going to risk that so let's go right ahead and switch it out to vesuvius and again putting up my stats and well here comes a bulk up go right ahead see what you guys can do yeah, that's right. My defense is maximum, and bam, here comes an Astonish attack. And, yeah, Swagger probably shouldn't have... <laughs> yeah, Swagger wouldn't have been the best choice right there. So let's go with a Strength attack on this person. Here we go, Strength for the win. And there you go, Zubat defeated. Okay, alrighty, and, well, here comes another Pokemon. Poochie in it. Why do these... Okay, so seriously, why did they alternate in Pokemon? That, that kind of bothered, bothered me a little. And, well, here we go. A good, uh, good flinch right there. So let's go again with another Rock Slide. And high jump kick onto this Pokemon right here. So Dalsim doing its thing. Yes, we are named... I just realized something, too. Half of our Pokemon are named after other video game Pokemon or characters. You know, Dalsim. Hadouken is not really a, you know, a character, but more of an attack. Raiden, yeah, yeah, we got we got those Pokemon. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Poochiana has been defeated, and well, Raiden grows to level 14, mooshing off his comrades. And well, look at that, we're getting more points. And you know, having a traded Pokemon is basically like having a uh, Pokemon on the experience share all the time. So yeah, that that right there is a huge plus. So let's go right ahead and continue our little conquest right here. This guy's seen us, he's like, we're Team Aqua, we appear wherever or, or wherever anything rare is found. Yeah, well, what's so rare about this place? I want to know. 
Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Team Aqua Grunt, and he's going to be coming out with his Poochiana Raiden, of course, still not fast enough. Let's go right ahead and switch him out to Sage of the Halo right here. And, well, Sage, get ready to kick some butt right here. Here comes a Bite Attack. Let's go with the Leaf Blade Attack right here. And, just like that, X marks the spot. Say goodbye to Poochiana. What now? What now? Okay, so let's see. Here comes a Zubat. Let's go ahead and try our luck yet again. Raiden, you've uh, grown two levels. I think you uh, I think you can do it. I think you can. Uh, two move combo, probably. Let's see. Let's go with a Thunder Wave right here. Bite attack. Wow! Critical hit. Okay, so Raiden's not loving us right now. So let's go with a Pokemon that can take a few hits. So we can revive our Pokemon. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Hadouken, how you doing? And, well, let's see. Hmm. Yes, we got revives. Let's go ahead and give that to our good old buddy Raiden right there. And here comes a wing attack. Oh, yeah. Gonna definitely take that. So let's go with a, hood, a headbutt attack. Hopefully make this Pokemon flinch. Nope, we made him faint. Yes. And Raiden still grows levels. And, yes, Hadouken getting some, uh, some experience points, too. Yes, we're going to be doing this whole uh, switch battling until Raiden can actually do something for himself. And, well, there comes Raiden. How's it going? Alrighty. Okay, Carvana. I am going to retreat because I do not want any of that smoke. So, here we go. Switch him out. Let's do this. Sage of the Halo yet again. And, well, here comes Rage. Mm -hmm. Leaf Blade for the win. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so there we go. And there's a little bit of rough skin. <laughs> and there we go. We have won. Alrighty, so that's more points, more experience points. And, well, let me go ahead and heal my Pokemon because, well, this next battle is going to be something. So we got a Hyper Potion right here. And let's see. Let's go with Raiden. Don't want this Pokemon to, you know... Hate us even more. And there we go, Dalsim. Let's go right ahead and take on the admin right here. <laughs> You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs. You're either absolutely fearless, you know, balls of steel, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. Or, yeah, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. Yeah, she thinks I'm cute. That's right. I am cute. Yeah, and well, here she is. Edmund Shelley wants the battle, and she, again, will come out with the uh, good old buddy uh, Carvana right here. And well, let's see, we're gonna be switching out. We don't want none of that, so let's go with Dalsim right here. And well, here we go, Dalsim, how's it going? Here comes a crunch attack. That's definitely not gonna work. And here we go, high jump kick for the win. And just like that, Carvana has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So what's next? Okay. Pokemon getting some levels. Here comes a Mighty Enna. So let's just continue on right here. Dalsim, you know, use your, your long legs, your, your, your long Bruce leg legs to beat some Bruce Lee out of this guy right here. Let's go with a high jump kick for the win. And just like that, Maidana has been defeated. And Raiden has grown to level 16. Yes, and well... Look at that, okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and talk to the... Well, she's gonna be talking to us. She's like, it's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business anyway? Um, uh, I don't even know. And well, this guy right here just pushed me out, and he's like, we have a situation here. A Team Magma Mub just passed uh, the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed to Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. <laughs> Team Magma, just you wait. Holy crud. Gang warfare is real right here, guys. So, after saving the Weather Institute, this scientist right here is going to be like, Thanks! Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be uh, an odd way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. And we have received ourselves a cast form. No, we're not going to nickname this Pokemon, but it's going to go straight to our PC. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather uh, conditions. There are, plenty, or, there are plenty of them in the Institute, so go ahead and take it. Yes. Now, 
This place will serve as a very, very important place later on when it comes to some certain legendary Pokemon. But there is one little thing I want to do before we head on out. Well, two things. Uh, this Chaos Form right here does have it uh, have itself a nice item, and that is a Mystic Water. We're gonna take this. And we're going to give it to one of our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and give that to Jouse. Jouse does have the, well, it does have the, the whatchamacallit, the black glasses. So I kind of want to keep that in my in my bag. So we're going to give it to Dulcine for right now. And, well, let's see. X-Boom does have Silk Scarf. Ha. Huh. I wonder what other Pokemon I have. Oh, yeah, these guys. Got those guys. Okay, so we're done with that. And, well, let's see. Let's not forget about the black glasses. Let's see. So I'll go ahead and take this away. And let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And just like that, we are healed. And now it is time for us to go straight to Fortree City and such other places, too. So it is raining. It is boring. The old man has been snoring. And what we need to do now is... Two, oh, a few things right here. Now, I do believe that this is the area right here where you can actually find yourself a Feebas. Yeah. Many of you guys have been telling me about it. Capture yourself a Feebas. Feebas is a nice addition to the team. Well, yeah, it is in other Pokemon games. Uh, I will be saving Feebas for another walkthrough because eventually, once you go under this bridge right here in the remakes, you will be able to find yourself a Feebas. You will, and it's a little bit easier to actually train and evolve and all that stuff, guys. That's probably what I'm waiting for, and well, here we are taking on a tentacle. So let's go right ahead and see if uh, Raiden can actually do something against these guys. And just like that, we win. Okay. And well, we're going to be going down here. And I believe there is a secret item right here. Probably. I don't even know. No. No. There's just bushes where you can actually find yourself some, uh, you can actually find yourself some Pokemon. And if you go down here, there is a secret, or there, there are some bushes right here too, where you can actually make yourself a secret base. And, well, let's go right ahead and surf again. And, oh wow, okay, so, never mind, let's go right here. To the left, you'll find yourself a tree, and to the right, you will find this, a leaf stone, which will be able to evolve certain grass-type Pokemon. And unfortunately, I think there's like only one leaf stone for right now. And here we have another Pokemon ready to attack, and it's a tentacle. Holy crap. Okay, so, Shockwave. And it looks like to me that we need to, we need to do something a little bit more than just Shockwave, so high jump kick, and for the win. So, it's a, it, it's a must. We have to give Thunderbolt to our good old buddy, Raiden. And that way, it actually has, like, two moves it can, it can actually use. So, let's go ahead and take away Leer. And, well, let's see. Whatever happens, happens. We're going to get attacked by some uh, certain Pokemon right here. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. I guess right now, it's a very, very good time to actually train this Pokemon to get up to um, its final form. Let's go right ahead, and what do we have? Oh yeah, Tentacool at level 34. Yeah, that's nice. Let's go again. And it is paralyzed. You know what? I am going to capture this Pokemon because uh, <laughs> it's level 34. It's a, it's a good level away from evolving into its final form too, so there you go. Throwing out that P sign. Now, for those who have been with me for a very, very, very long time, you guys probably already know that I did have a tentacle on my team. It did save me later on in the final battle. Comment down below if you remember that final battle. So as you guys can see, Tentacool, the jellyfish Pokemon. Its body is most entirely composed of water. It ensnares its foes with its two long tentacles, and then stabs the, per the poison stingers in the f at their tips. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're not gonna nickname this Pokemon. We're just gonna be moving on ahead. And, well, let's see. Super Potion away? Yes. Raiden almost defeated the level 34 Pokemon. Holy crud. And, yes, we're getting called, and it is Maria. Listen, listen, you have to hear this. I had a Pokemon battle earlier, but I lost in the last second. 
Oh, and it burns me up. Seriously, call me for anything important. Now, there is one more thing. You cross this, you find yourself your girlfriend, and he's, and she's gonna be like, Draven, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! Oh, wow. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're gonna be taking on May yet again, and she will be having a Pelipper, and hopefully... Hopefully, just hopefully, Raiden actually wins this one. Plus, we got a boost, so... We got one good attack. Let's go with a Thunderbolt, and here comes a Protect. Okay, so let's see. And that won't work. Fortunately, we don't have Static, so here we go. Thunderbolt. This is probably, like, four times. And ooh, nearly defeats this Pokemon. God, I really wish Raiden had like quick attack or something. So here comes Mist. This right here will of course protect it for, from uh, any status effects or anything like that. So yeah, but here comes Thunderbolt yet again. And just like that, Pelipper has been defeated by a level 16 Pokemon. Raiden has earned these powers. Yes, and he's learning quick attack. So this. Is perfect okay so let's go ahead and take away how and bam eventually I'm gonna have to like switch out one of these electric type moves but quick attack is a very good move if you know try to figure out who's gonna attack next and well he's gonna become or she's gonna be coming out with Kabuskin. we're gonna use it we're gonna risk it again and go with joust right here alrighty we got joust it is raining Yes, we are powered up, and, well, let's see. Surf attack. Joust does it. And, oh, look at that, Joust. Kicking some butt. There we go, again. And Raiden has grown to level 18, while Joust grows to level 34. And, well, here comes a Lombre. Now, this Pokemon right here thrives in this kind of environment, so we need to go with Dulcine. Mainly because, well, we don't have a flying type Pokemon just yet. I mean, and I mean yet. I mean like yet, yet. Yeah. Okay, so Lombre, how's it going? You look fantastic. You are thriving in the rain. Let's go with Strength Attack. And of course, he's trying to flinch us out right here. That's not cool. So here we go again. Here's a rain. And we're gonna go with the Strength Attack. And here comes a Swift Attack. How is, okay, so. I'm only assuming because Lombre's uh, ability, it's faster than us in the rain, so yes. Strength attack for the win, and there we go. We have defeated our girlfriend yet again. She's like, ha! Draven, you're so strong! I was worried that you might be struggling with your training. Never. Never, baby. But I, abs er, I had absolutely not, or I absolutely had nothing to worry about. Keep it up! And here, I have a present for you. We get ourselves the HMO2. Fly, which will of course work after we win the Fortree Gym Badge. Use Fly and your Pokemon will instantly carry you to any town you've already visited. But to use Fly you have to get the uh, Gym Badge from Fortree City. That's important. So don't forget, you should fly and come. Uh, you should fly home and visit Little Root for the change. I bet your mom's worried about you, Draven. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Okay. Anywho. Let's go ahead and continue this whole thing. And, well, of course, Scott has been stalking us. He's going to be like, <laughs> oh, way to go, Draven. I just passed the trainer uh, riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious uh, that you did. That kid looked really upset with a, with a face all red or with a face all red from anger. I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to the Fortree Tree Gym? I expect, what you, uh, I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. Okay, alrighty. So, again, we're gonna be moving on. There's another secret uh, base place. And we are gonna be taking on some trainers right here. So, let's see. Yeah, we need to heal Raiden because it's still not powerful. And give this to Raiden. And, of course, we're gonna be speeding through this whole thing. So, look at this. Hit me with your power cord. Victory is mine. It's our time to shine. Oh, yeah! To lurk in the shadows and live in darkness, that's my, or that is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. Okay, so here we go, taking on these two individuals. I actually thought that was a bird trainer. I really did. 
Okay, so he's got himself a main electric. That is scary because, well, it is a electric type Pokemon. Definitely a Pokemon that, uh, yeah, definitely a Pokemon that we, we, we need right now. So we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Vesuvius. And let's go with this. And... Okay, so we hit ourselves and high jump kick. And there we go. And Rock Slide has won us. Raiden grows to level 19. We get boosted stats. Yes! Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. What else happens right here? Nothing. Okay, so there is something unseeable right here. That is, uh, well, that is pretty obvious that, you know, there is a Pokemon right here. Now, they did, in Pokemon Emerald, they did add this. A long line of, uh, well, leaves right here, or grass, in order to escape these guys right here. But I would I would suggest battling these uh, the trainers right here. So, let's go ahead and finish it out. Talk to this guy. To hide a tree, use a forest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bring it. All right, Hido, bring it on. So here it comes with coughing, and we got Raiden right here. So what I'm going to try and do is speed it up. Thunderbolt. Yes, you are paralyzed. Yes, Raiden is kicking butt. All right, here we go again. Look at that, level 20, and it's learning Spark. I am not going to teach it that because it already has two great moves, and what it really needs, it's need, it needs, like, you know, physical attacks, you know, raise attacks, you know, all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. We found two Pomeg Berries. That ought to be awesome. So we're going to speed it up right here. Speed that up. There we go. And speed that up. And, well, here we are, guys. Finally. Draven has come back to Fortree City. And, well, we're going to be doing a lot of training. And I mean a lot, a lot of training because we're not ready for the gym battle just yet. So in the next episode, we're going to be going through routes 120 and 121, wherever it stops us. Because remember, Team Aqua or Team Magma is at the very end. And, uh, well, they won't allow us to cross until we win the next gym badge. But we're going to be doing training because, well, good old Raiden here needs to, uh, he needs to train. He needs to be leveled up. He needs to be ready to go. So... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I do appreciate you guys watching my, my videos no matter how many views I get. Really. I don't mind. And uh, yeah. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel. Heart button's right there. Any donation helps. Again, I would like to thank everybody who has donated. I don't have names just yet. But I will be putting them, putting them up pretty soon here. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys next time for the next episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.